Okay, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Acts 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Just a reminder here, this word repent means to turn from unbelief to belief. Okay? So I want to talk about today... Uh, the Antichrist and how to figure out who the Antichrist is. So first of all, I'm going to try to make this real simple. I'm going to put in a do a, a keyword search for Antichrist. You'll see that it's mentioned four times, three in the first book of John and once in the second book of John. So let's read these. Little children, it is the last time and as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Who is a liar but he that denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of antichrist, whereof you had heard that it should come, <clears throat> Excuse me. and even now already is it in the world. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Okay, so if I could sort of uh, real simple like uh, summarize. Um, since Christ has come into the world, the counter spirit of that has also come into the world. And that is the spirit of the antichrist. Alright, so in the Bible we have uh, many references to this Antichrist and uh, I guess the first question I would ask uh, did Jesus know about the Antichrist well of course he did so let's draw uh, let's say uh, you know connect the dots if you will and uh, figure out uh, where he's talking about the Antichrist. And here in Matthew 24 and Mark 13, he says, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. For false Christ and false prophets shall arise, and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Now the elect, of course, are the born again, the born of the Spirit of God, believers in Jesus Christ. Okay? The saved. All right. Now, um, so um, this is interesting to me because uh, the first time I heard about the Antichrist was probably right around 1981, 82, when I was 11, 12 years old. I had heard somebody say that Ronald Reagan was the Antichrist. And the proof or evidence that they gave for that was his name is Ronald Wilson Reagan. Ronald has six letters. Wilson has six letters. Reagan has six letters. Six, six, six. So let's take a look in the Bible where that talks about six, six, six. All right, so go to Revelation 13. Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the, the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. Now, one thing that sticks out to me right away is it's not 666. It's 666. Okay. Now, this is the only time it's mentioned in the entire Bible, so... I think we got to be real careful about making too big of a deal out of this. Now, perhaps later I'll give you my opinion what I think that is. But first of all, I think it's important to understand what is the beast. Because in Revelation we hear uh, over and over it talks about the beast. And the beast is directly related to the Antichrist. So let's first define what the beast is. Alright, and if we go, in, in my opinion, we have to go to Daniel. Alright, so in Daniel 7, he says, 
These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. So what Daniel's talking about is he, he's been given a vision. And in this vision, there are four beasts. And then at the end of the four beasts comes the end of the world. And of course, we read about the end of the world in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, when the disciples ask him, what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So and also in Daniel, he's given this vision of four kings and then the end of the world. All right, and then at the end of the world, uh, Jesus Christ conquers uh, everything, and uh, he sets up his kingdom forever and ever and ever. All right. So, now comes the question, who are the four beasts that Daniel is talking about? Well, Daniel, he lists the first three beasts. The first beast is the king of Babylon. When he gets this vision, um, Babylon rules the world. The second beast is the kingdom of the Medes and the Persians. And the third beast is the Gresham kingdom, uh, or Greek, Greece, or whatever you want to call it. So we got the first three beasts are mentioned in the book of Daniel. So that leaves us with one unmentioned beast. And so by deduction, we can figure out who the fourth beast is. So if we fast forward to the New Testament, okay. So in Luke 2, verse 1, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. So this is a very strong clue because Caesar Augustus was not Greece was not uh, the rule was not the Grecian Emperor if you will he was the Roman Emperor so that's a very strong clue for who the fourth beast of Daniel is all right so understanding that Caesar Augustus was a Roman Emperor we now know who the fourth beast is and that fourth beast that comes right before the end of the world is also the same beast that we read about in the book of Revelation all right so now uh, we can use those facts to understand who the Antichrist is and who the beast is talking about in the book of Revelation all right so uh, we can go back and forth, if you will, here, but there's one thing I want to show. Beast that was and is and is not and yet is or whatever, however that goes. What's that? What's that verse? Okay, right here. Uh, Revelation 17 is a great place to learn more about this beast. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life, from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Okay, and then again in verse 11, And the beast that was and is not, even he is of the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. So what this is referring to in verse 11 Okay, this is about the seven kings, and there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come, and when he comes, he must continue a short space, and the beast that was and is not, even he is of the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. This is speaking of a succession of kings. Okay, so this nullifies, if it didn't already uh, become clear to you, it should become clear now, there is not one baby born with a 666 tattoo on his head like in the movie omen but there are a succession of kings ruling this fourth kingdom or this fourth beast all right i'll continue 